about this matchup is actually pretty Are they on pretty Halbert? bad. Well, this is fun check. Yeah, okay. It's right. by the way, guys. For those for those of you who don't know, always Halbert. button check on a not tournament legal stage. Yeah. Just so that everyone on stream knows what's going this on. Dash dance. Someone's been watching Mr. R videos. I mean, dash dancing in this game is like it's like oh, that's that's neat. That's nifty. It's it. No, Mr. R is putting to good effect. I feel like there are some characters who need who like dash dancing will be like an integral part of their kit in a year. I mean, there are some characters where like fox trotting is extremely important. And Little yeah. Mac being one of them. I mean, actually, we've seen it to a degree. Uh, I feel I feel like the fox trot definitely helps like um, with the more precise movement. Not as much as the perfect pivot does. But like just covering space quickly, I, I feel like it's very important. I mean, it's actually very good for to sort of it's it's it, it, it's a less versatile baiting tool, just yeah. like dash dancing. And like if you ever play against a falcon, they'll run in at you. Yeah. You'll try and throw out this keep out option or yeah. maybe some type of aggressive thing, they'll and then back they'll up. dash back, and yeah. it's like, oh wow, I whiffed. Well, they'll dash back unless they have a controller that doesn't malfunction in the correct way. <laughs> Did you see the Gimmer video where he's like? Guys, we can make our controllers malfunction just the way we want. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I, I love... There, there was some, like, uh, eSports article where it was, like, um, top <laughs> melee professional uh, leaves tournament because controller is not malfunctioning the correct way. Yeah, not Whatever. malfunctioning yeah. properly. <laughs> yes. But more importantly, let's look at something that is functioning properly. Big G versus Koko Sumo. Well, um, did you say this is malfunctioning properly? Or, uh, uh, it okay. is functioning properly. Okay. A uh, little Mac is getting gimped. There is there is good function here. He's not gimped yet. He did yeah. take a lot of percent. And one of the reasons this matchup is so hard is a Lucina's ability to really consistently edge guard Mac is just so hard for him. The down tilt alone just Ooh, destroys. That's him. nice. The upbeat combo breaker. Yeah. It's it's fast. It is a fast move. Coming out quickly. It's a little risky, but like you know, if the opponent's stuck in the middle of a side B animation, yeah. Big G on the verge of KO punch. Doesn't now. Oh, now he has it. All right. And now we're probably going to see. try and save it or think he's just going to throw it? Uh, he saves it. He is a player where he will not blow it. He understands the use of KO punch. Even, even if he doesn't hit the opponent with it, he understands how useful it is as a tool of just intimidation. You know, there's no way that Kogo Master, now he's going to be approaching and. So you'd say he's kind of like a Japanese cloud where like they're the ones who always hold that limit. Yes. Uh, whereas I feel like American class tend to throw it out a little faster. And he's looking for it. And that's why. Oh, he actually goes for the jab, jab, yeah. upbeat. I think he probably. Not, oh, there it's gone. Uh, yeah, but like, so I want to point out. Okay, now he's gone. But uh, there was a. Before he got the KO punch, he was at like like 80, and Koga Masu was at like 50 something. Yeah. Oh, that's going to do it. Yeah, the, the fear that was planted in Koga Masu basically a matter to make him. Just come back all the way, and now we see. Yeah. Actually, uh, so well, we're seeing kind of a return back to form. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, well, keep in mind that the KO punch, unless he gets gimped pretty early on, is going to become a factor yeah. soon again. Um. Okay, there, jab at smash, uh, putting him in a bet. Oh, I'm surprised Koga didn't do anything. I think he was waiting for the jump. Uh, because oh. Big G had his jump and he actually did the early side B, which is true. Really smart. I kind of figured he'd at least try to react and like down tilt or something. Okay, Little Max still has it. Um, Ooh, oh. tries to counter oh. it. Doesn't actually. And get he still it. has KO punch. Yeah. This is actually really scary for Koga. Oh, oh. he blows it. Uh, Big G still has a chance here, but Koga is looking in a good spot right now. Okay. Oh, again! Koga's been trying that, and it's not working out. I think he might need to try something new with I, the edge guard game. I want to say that's actually Big G. That's that, like I feel like that's something that would work oh. on most Max, but Big G is yeah, doing like something right there. But now he's got to figure out something that is going to work on Big G, because he's not playing another Mac. Yeah, that was such a risky roll in, but it's going to be okay for him right now. I feel now. like it's not too risky, because um, <coughs> he didn't dash forward enough for the up smash to hit. No, that's going okay. to be it. And like Little Max aerial game isn't very strong, so like you don't have to worry about that too much. <laughs> yes, father, you did win. So now we're going to be seeing game two. I actually I wouldn't be surprised if we see Battlefield again. Normally it's not really like classically a good Max stage, but Big G actually really likes it. You see him. I can pick see it. it all. Like he likes he likes that up a lot. And he likes the fact that like when he gets KO punch, the opponent is feared onto the platforms yeah. and he is you saw he actually has a really good anti-platform camp game. 
Yeah. Yep, we're going to be seeing Battlefield again. All right. Uh, Koga with that weird up B, I, I don't really, f I didn't really feel it in neutral. Like, like I know that well, uh, it was a combo breaker up B. I thought um, it didn't work out for him because he, yeah, he didn't break it. I don't think he broke out of anything really. Uh, oh, that was an amazing use of the neutral yeah. B super armor from Big G. Uh, when did he, did he like start it between like the second or third hit or whatever? Yes, and he actually gets yeah. super armor in the air when he uses that neutral B. So that's why he was able to uh, yeah. land on the ground and punish. He knows everything about his character. Yeah, and look at him. He's just dancing around Koga. He actually has a huge lead here right now. Ooh, oh, that's not a good... Oh, man, just slip off the platform. Very nice. Doesn't have to worry about having some sort of platform tech chase game. Yep, and ooh, there's the up B. Oh, sorry, not the, uh, the one up more, One more should uh, get... Okay, no. But one more hit should get him his KO punch. If he doesn't just straight uh, take out Koga. Oh, keep scale punch. Um, wow, that was such a beautiful recovery. Actually managing to air dodge at the perfect time to still make it back. Oh, wow. And that's doesn't it. even lose his KO punch. Yeah, because he didn't get put into tumble. Yeah. He got hit by a one and two. Oh, that, that, that'll put him into tumble. And that will yeah. put him in the morgue. <laughs> yeah, he tried to go for a the really Golo. deep recovery, but... Mac is bad. <laughs> I mean, he's not bad, but... You know, well recovering. He's, he's a guy. He's just a man. I you mean, couldn't do she's that. She's a girl with a sword. No, she's not. She's a girl with a sword, and then she points the sword over, and she goes shooting up like twenty feet. She so. got, she got legs. She got the hops. How'd she do it in the air? She got hops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to this match where we've seen a pretty decisive turnaround. Kogo with the lead now. Oh, and he's Ooh, buddy. buddy. There's the K. Ooh, no tech boy. Finally catches him with that back air stage spike. That was actually really nice. Koga had pretty much never opted for that. Like, he, you know, he was always trying to fare him. Just, just smack him out. Yeah, and there finally.